That was a first, but look, this boat dock is down at the river bottom. I should be under about 15 feet of water. Alarming reports indicate that the Mississippi, the second longest river in North America and the fourth longest in the world, has had the lowest water levels in a long time. Given its significance to the US, this is scary. Even more scarier are the recent discoveries made by scientists along the drought basin. Why is the water level in Mississippi dropping? And what is this discovery that shocked the scientists? Watch till the end to find out. The Mississippi River passes through 10 states, starting in Minnesota and finishing in Louisiana, which flows into the Gulf of Mexico. Eight additional states border the waterway. The severe drought that has affected most of the United States during the past few months has also affected the Mississippi River. In some locations, the Mississippi's water levels dropped so low that they broke records set more than 30 years ago. According to Andrew Joyner, climatologist for Tennessee, a lack of rain frequently causes the Mississippi River's water levels to drop, but things have become a lot worse this time. Last month, the Mississippi River's record low water levels caused a backlog of about 3,000 barges or 210,000 container trucks on America's largest inland waterway. Farmers could only move half of the corn that shipped at the same time last year, despite frantic digging. Deliveries of fuel, coal, industrial chemicals, and construction supplies were also hampered in the nation's center. Let us put this in some perspective. This vital river and its tributaries convey more than $17 billion in agricultural products annually. Since September, during a worldwide grain shortage and increasing food prices, 60% of all U.S. corn and soybean exports have been affected by the drought. Also, it's harvest time right now, when farmers gather their grains and other products, sell them at the market, and apply fertilizer before the snowfall of the coming winter. Still, the shrinking Mississippi has driven them to look for more expensive alternatives, such as shipping things through far-off West Coast ports or transporting soybeans to the Gulf Coast by rail. At a time when prices are already skyrocketing due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, this will undoubtedly put more pressure on global food prices. Aside from agriculture, Normally, the Mississippi is one of the busiest waterways in America for transporting commerce, moving around 500 million tons of cargo each year. However, due to the drought, which has diminished the depth and width of the river, bottlenecks have formed. According to some estimates, the flow of goods has been slowed by 45%, potentially resulting in $20 billion in losses and damages to the economy. Boats that were previously afloat in Tennessee have become entangled in sludge. The upper side of the Mississippi also has several dams that serve various functions, including electricity generation. As a result, if the water drop scenario worsens, it will severely impact energy output. The drinking water for the Louisiana population is also at risk. The relative trickle that's reaching the Mississippi's mouth in Louisiana's outlying Plaque Mines Parish is allowing salt water from the Gulf of Mexico to intrude up the Mississippi. This threatens to taint drinking water drawn from the river and necessitates emergency action by the Army Corps of Engineers. But what is the cause of these continuous receding water levels? Mississippi recorded a record of minus 10.81 feet in October 2022, higher than the minus 10.7 feet experienced in 1988. As previously stated, Falling water levels had a significant economic impact on transportation, agriculture, and also electricity generation. But what was the cause of the low water levels? Let's get to it. It is no secret that global warming and other causes are causing the climate to change rapidly. Numerous rivers like the Rhine in Europe and the Yangtze in China saw abrupt decreases. The United States saw severe flash droughts in 2022 affecting precipitation and water levels. Additionally, the dry soil holds onto the water well, reducing surface runoff into rivers. According to the explanation, the tributaries of the Mississippi suffered the most damage from the earlier droughts. On the other side, the 2022 drought impacted the river's main flow because of increased soil water absorption and high evaporation. Also, several artificial constructions dot the Mississippi River's path. 
Dams and levees are examples of these structures, which provide various functions such as flood control and navigation improvement. While these facilities are essential for managing the river's water flow, they have some downsides, including lowering downstream flow and harming the aquatic ecosystem. Another important contributor to these shocking occurrences is La Nina. For those unfamiliar, La Nina is a climate phenomenon that occurs when the central and eastern tropical Pacific Ocean is cooling. It can impact global weather patterns and is often associated with increased precipitation in some regions and drought in others. In the case of the Mississippi River Basin, La Nina can have a significant impact on the region's precipitation and water resources. During La Nina events, the southern and central United States experience drier than normal conditions, exacerbating drought conditions and increasing the risk of water shortages. On the other hand, La Nina can also bring above average precipitation to the northern United States, potentially mitigating the impacts of drought in the Mississippi River Basin. It's important to note that while La Nina can be a factor in the occurrence of drought, it's not the only one. Other factors, such as land use changes, water management practices, and greenhouse gas emissions, also play a role in the region's water resources and drought conditions. You're probably wondering what discovery has been made from the Mississippi River. Well, let's look into that. While many are worried about this drought and its impact on the US economy, some archaeologists are excited because of some discoveries it brought along with it. A Mississippi River relic hunter from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, was shocked to come across a 19th century shipwreck in the Arid River. The ship's discovery was unexpected, according to Patrick Ford, who'd been observing the river's receding waters for weeks. The Brookhill, a merchant ship built in Indiana in 1896, was believed to be the wreck. The Brookhill sister ship was the Istruma. According to sources, the night ferry over the river was the Brookhill, while the day ferry across the river was the Istruma. 90% of the ship's remaining hull, according to the archaeologist, is now exposed and will be researched to add to models of how it was thought to have been constructed. Chip McGimsey, the state archaeologist of Mississippi, said he's excited about the uniqueness of these boats because there are so few of them left, and this is a rare example of one from around 1900. Mostly, there are few good documents on boat building, especially once you return to the topic of wooden ships. But he's excited about this because it's a rare example of one from that era. Another shocking discovery was made in Rosedale, a small town on the Mississippi-Arkansas border, about 140 miles northwest of Jackson, by Wiley Pewitt, who was investigating a recently exposed sandbar in the parched Mississippi River when he noticed something dark jutting out of the sand. Pewitt discovered the item was a tooth, and a large one of that upon closer study. He decided to bring his find to the Mississippi Fossil and Artifact Symposium and Exhibition event and seek the opinion of the experts despite his suspicion that it belonged to a carnivore. The tooth, connected to a portion of a fossilized jawbone, was formerly owned by a huge American lion, Panthera atrox. This species has been extinct for around 11,000 years, according to paleontologists. During the Pleistocene, big cats prowled through North America, initially emerging at least 340,000 years ago. But fossilized traces of their presence may be found in the eastern United States. According to the National Park Service, scientists think American lions were roughly 25% larger than present African lions. They ranged in length from 5 to 8 feet and stood 4 feet tall at the shoulders. While others were between 500 and 800 pounds, some of the largest American lions may have topped 1,000 pounds. According to Kate Leon, a paleoecologist at the University of Nebraska, the American lion is essentially a different subspecies of the African lion. Therefore, it would have resembled a larger African lion. However, we're curious if it had a mane like African lions, because the fossil record rarely retains things like skin or hair. While we wait for a miracle of massive snows in the right places to melt into the Mississippi, the drought is still causing the waters to dry up all along the normally strong river. Low water levels are causing delays in barge traffic and endangering drinking waters in certain areas. 
they've also revealed the ruins of a century-old ferry and a more recent sunken casino boat. We've come to the end of today's video. Thanks for watching till the end. What discovery did you find most shocking? Are there more secrets hidden beneath the Mississippi? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, share it with friends, and subscribe for more.